Are you having issues with letting people into your Google Meet this year? Do you need help adding some more people to your host controls? This quick tip is for you today. Google Meet has some updates now for you when creating a Google Meet in your calendar. Let's go over the settings to learn how to add co-hosts and how to change settings for your waiting room. I'm in my Google Calendar and I'm gonna create a brand new event. I'm gonna title my event, add guests who are going to be the co-host to that event. Here I'm going to now add that Google Meet video conference. Once I have that meet code, I can go over here to this gear icon and that's going to open up a brand new window of settings. I can turn on or off host controls here in meeting moderation and then I can scroll down and this is where you can add settings for how your participants join a meet. If you have all participants needing to ask permission, you are going to have it restricted and be let in by the host. If you want it to be open, then you're going to turn off the host must join before anyone else. And then now anyone can join that meet without having to ask to join. Now to add a more specific co-host to a meet, go over to guests, and add the co-host here. And I'll be able to click on them and they will show up as co-host for this event. Save it in settings. And now you can save the calendar invite and they will be co-hosts to that particular calendar invitation. There are a couple more things to look over here in the guest settings. One of them is the call artifacts are shared with the host and co-hosts. This has to be set up through your Google Calendar when you make the meet invite. If you turn this on, that means all co-hosts will get copies of the recording, the meet attendance, polling, and transcripts from the chat. If you turn this off, co-hosts will not receive those artifacts after the meet. If you assign a co-host during a Google Meet, they will not be getting the meet attendance, recordings, polling, any of that kind of stuff. This is new in Google Meet. Is there, and you can see it up here on the roles of the meeting, there is now a contributor or a viewer for participants within that meet. If you turn this on, then everyone who gets into the meet is going to be a viewer. Viewers aren't allowed to add anything in the chat, raise their hand, share their screen, turn on their microphone, or turn on their camera. If you have this on where everyone is a viewer, you can select specific people to be contributors. If you wanna allow everyone to be able to type into the chat, or to be able to unmute their mic, or to share the screen, then this needs to be turned off. Google defaults in a Google Meet to have both of these options turned off. Once you're happy with how you set that up, hit save and then save your Google Calendar invite and all that meet information will be in there.